Good morning, everyone. This week's Torah portion speaks about the laws of shotness, the prohibition of mixing wool and linen together in your garments. For example, if one has a wool suit and the thread in the buttons or in the lining are made out of linen, no go. That's called shotness. And this is in your sweater, your pants, your skirt, whatever garment one wears, there's a prohibition of wearing a mixture of wool and linen together. Now the commentaries want to know why. What's the reason? What's the reason behind this mitzvah? And you know what the answer is? Because God said so. We call that a chok. There's a group of mitzvahs where God did not reveal the reasons. Of course there's a reason, but God did not reveal the reason. He said, because I said so. The red heifer is another one. Many others. So Ramosha Feinstein wants to know why did God give his commandments that he did not reveal the reason. We've spoken so many times that the reasons behind the mitzvahs, we're supposed to think about them. When we do the mitzvah, it transforms us into better people, makes us closer to God, it gives us meaning behind the actions that we're doing. So why would God not reveal the reason for these mitzvahs? Cesar Ramosha Feinstein something very powerful. Cesar Ramosha Feinstein that God is teaching us an important lesson, that we have to trust him that he has our best interests in mind. Just like parents or teachers or principals not necessarily always would tell their children or their students the reason behind every rule or everything that they do, especially parents, sometimes because I said so. Because it's building trust that the children trust their parents or the teacher that they have their best interests in mind. So too, that's the avod that says Ramosha Feinstein. That's what we're supposed to think about. That's what we're supposed to connect when we do these mitzvot that we don't understand that God did not reveal the reason. God did not reveal the reason because he wants us to trust him. That there is a reason and it's for us. It's the best thing for us, even if we don't understand it. So let's focus on this, especially during this period of time where that's building trust, building a relationship. The month of Elul, as we lead up to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, where we're building that relationship with our Father in Heaven, Hashem. Let's focus on these mitzvahs. What better way to build a trust and relationship than saying, Hey God, I don't know the reason, but I trust you that this is best for me. Wishing everyone a beautiful day.